back to another video guys today we are doing a clean with me so I'm coming in hot with this video today and I'm taking the sheets off and putting new ones on if you guys are new to Kozo TV welcome make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we love to have you come along and if you guys are not new you guys are coming back welcome we missed you so right away I just had this Kohl's order on the floor and I just need to unpack everything out of it. They actually had like a huge clearance sale that day so it was like an additional 50% off of all clearance. So you know your girl couldn't miss. I think I might even go back tomorrow. But I got Zane a new sheet set and also before you guys ask the onesie is not for us. Um, I am not pregnant. We have like three babies coming into our family this year alone. So I figured I might as well grab this cute little onesie and then it's of scrambling for baby shower gifts later but I need to put all these things in the washer so I'm just setting these aside to wash and then same for the clothes I'm just putting them aside to wash later So I don't know about you guys, but if I am not fully decluttered or cleaned in my house, I always can never just like think clearly. So I think it's very important for me to go ahead and clean when I can. And with two kids, I take the opportunity literally whenever I can. So here I'm just loading up the washer with all the things I need to wash. I'm starting off with Zane's sheets, of course, and then I'll put my comforters in. So back to my room, guys. I know you guys saw that clutter-looking nightstand. So I'm just going to take everything off of the nightstand and put it where it belongs instead of having a catch-off on my room. We end up like putting on lotion and drinking water and bringing up things upstairs and all this stuff and it just accumulates. So I'll do the same thing on Cody's nightstand too and that's what you'll see next. move on to the laundry and this basket is actually going to be the kids laundry and after this load of laundry I do not intend on folding any more clothes the kids laundry takes a lot out of me because it's not a lot but it is because it has a lot of little pieces So me and Laundry have a love-hate relationship. When I say love, I mean love, and when I say hate, I mean hate. So I love doing laundry because I get to sit down, stay off of my feet, and catch up on my shows. And I hate it because it just accumulates so fast, and it's so many pieces, and it dries my hands out like crazy. But at the end of the day, it has to be done, and it's going to get done. So the sheets finished just in time too, so I was able to get those out and fold them as well. So here I'm just taking out the last load in the dryer. It was the comforter that I pulled off and I'm just folding it, making sure that it was dry. And then I'm just putting in the towels and this will be my last load of laundry for the night, y'all. I'm not doing any more loads. I'm done, finito. So the last thing I have to do in our room is to put the comforter on the bed and guys this literally took no time at all. This is actually a queen 
comforter and we have a king size bed so I don't have to worry about the extra sheet hangover and have to worry about what's straight and what's not um, it's not on purpose we have to order a new king size set and we just cannot decide so right now we're just walk rocking with our old queen um, but I just tuck the bottom just to make it looks like it's seamless and I'll add the pillows on later all right, you guys, so this is the next day, and this right here is Zane and Gabe's bathroom. So it's not too bad. It's just a lot of stuff all over the place, so I'm just going to organize it and straighten it up. So first things first, these rugs have seen a lot of love, so they need to go in the washer, and I'm just going to throw both of them in there at the same time. So back to the bathroom, I'm just going to remove all the trash and things off of the counter and it's really not that much, it's just little things that have accumulated and you can't see what I'm doing here but I'm just setting the things aside so that way I can fully clean up the vanity. Onto the mirror, I'm just wiping off the mirror as usual. There's really not too much to say here. The boys don't spend too much time in their bathroom, but I'm trying to get them to spend more time in their bathroom. So I don't really have to clean in here that often. Same thing with their countertop. They really don't spend that much time in their bathroom, so it wasn't even that dirty. But I did go ahead and disinfect it with some Lysol and wiped it down. So now it's time to move on to the bathtub and guys I got so hot so I had to take off that sweater and put on a t-shirt but I know the bathtub looks like a lot but it's really not so I just really have to just take everything out of it and I'm just going to wipe it all the way down and I took this time also they had a lot of toys so I just took some of the toys away because they didn't really need that many. So yesterday the boys took a bath and they were playing with the Crayola crayon for the tub and I forgot to wipe it off but it got stuck on there and also there was stuff on there too so I wanted to scrub it off the wall instead of fighting with it. So that's what I'm doing here. I just added the cleaner to the tub and I'm just scrubbing and just making sure that it comes off right. So now that the tub is fully clean, now I can go ahead and start adding the toys and things back to the tub. So that's what you'll see me do here in this clip. And I didn't end up putting all the toys in there. If you guys are cleaning the tub and you have a lot of toys like I do, use this time to declutter your toys and maybe to recycle some out. I ended up putting about half the toys back and the other half I put up for storage. So now that I have all the surfaces and things cleaned, I can finally go ahead and sweep my floor. And like I said, they don't really spend that much time here, so there was barely anything to sweep, but there was something. So I went ahead and did the job and threw all that stuff away. 
you know I had to get my boys something so I went ahead and got them a little organizer for their bathroom nothing big just for their cotton balls and floss So I ended up getting this set on Amazon and it was super, super, super affordable. I think I paid like $6 and some change for the two of them. Um, I also went ahead and got the floss from Amazon too. So I'll leave that link. It has um, different colors and different flavors and it's super cute. You'll see when I put it in there. But I wanted to try to get their bathroom a little bit more homier. They don't really have too much in their bathroom. Like I said, they don't spend time in their bathroom, but um, they're getting older now. So they need their own space. Um, so I don't know if you guys know some kid bathroom themes drop them down below in the comments help me out um, I'm open to pretty much anything at this point <laughs> So these stickers were so easy to put on these containers and your girl aced it I think I pretty much got it straight. I think it's a little bit off on the floss, but it's pretty much straight Ain't nobody checking for it. I even compared them <laughs> Alright you guys, I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere and it's clean and I finally get to put everything where it belongs. So if you guys stayed along this far in the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Join Kozo TV because that's where you're supposed to be. Okay guys, we'll see you in the next one. I'll let you finish it. Peace.